You mentioned Pat McFadden, Labour's national campaign coordinator. He joins us now. Um, very good morning to you. You must be delighted by what happened, but is it really redrawing the political map? Ah, well, good morning. And I'm sorry I've got to keep my finger in my ear here. We're having a few tech problems here uh, near Parliament, but uh, we'll keep going. And we're delighted by the results last night. Um, these were two constituencies which, as your reporter said, were not really... They weren't on our target list. Tamworth, for example, was the 57th safest Conservative seat in the country up until uh, last night. Uh, so uh, this is a, a major setback for the government and for their uh, message that somehow uh, the country needs change and the answer to that change is five more years of the Conservatives. The country does need change, uh, but it will only get it with the Labour Party and that's what the voters of Tamworth and Mid Bedfordshire were saying in the poll yesterday. Are you calling for an early general election? Oh, I, I mean, for me, uh, the sooner the better, but that's in the hands of the Prime Minister. Um, I think the Conservatives are running out of road and I suspect they'll wait. Um, but it's a decision for the Prime Minister. So my job is to make sure that the Labour Party is ready whenever the general election comes. Uh, and that's what we'll do. You look at mid Bedfordshire, the, the number of votes cast for the Labour Party actually fell. So is this a sign of people supporting you or just not supporting the Tories? Well, the turnout uh, is often down in a by-election. Uh, that's not just true of Mid Bedfordshire or uh, any particular seat. It's usually the case uh, that you get less people turning out in a by-election than you do at a general election. But here's the blunt truth. Elections are decided by the people who turn up to vote. And the people who turned up to vote uh, voted in the greatest number for the Labour Party. And this was in a seat that we were told we had no chance in. We shouldn't even... Uh, be trying to fight it seriously, we were told. And it's a really important lesson that it's the voters who are in charge, not anybody who decides what's a likely prospect for one party or another. There are no no-go areas for the Labour Party. We're a changed force from 2019. Keir Starmer deserves huge credit for the changes he's made in the Labour Party in recent years. Uh, and in mid-Bedfordshire, you know, there was never really a Labour... Uh, tradition uh, of voting Labour in that constituency. It's, it, we've never held it since the 1930s, uh, but it's got a Labour MP this morning. After your success in Scotland, Keir Starmer warned the party faithful not to become complacent, not to sort of count their chickens. So you're the campaign coordinator. You've now got to go on with the next few months at least. Uh, will you change your tack in any way? No, uh, I really agree with uh, what you just said from uh, Keir Starmer there. These were magnificent results last night. Um, they show that uh, uh, you know a changed Labour Party is back on the pitch, but we're very conscious of the size of the task in front of us. In front of us. Winning the trust of the public is a really important task, and trust is a fragile and precious thing. And we're going to work hard for every vote. We know that the only way to power for the Labour Party is to speak to people who haven't been voting Labour in recent elections. Many of them will have been voting Conservative, they might have been voting for other parties, maybe they weren't voting at all. We know we need to attract new people to our cause. Uh, and in doing that, I think political parties have a duty of humility and a duty to understand how, uh, how precious that trust is. And that will be the spirit in which I organised the Labour Party's general election campaign. So, of course, we're going to celebrate after results like last night, but we're going to do that in the knowledge of the size of the task facing us uh, between now and the general election. OK, Pat McFadden, really good to talk to you. Uh, thanks very much indeed.